Are you curious about what would happen if planets didn't orbit stars, but instead floated freely in space? It's a mind-boggling concept, but scientists have been searching for these rare objects for decades. They finally found them. In a distant nebula, stars and planets are born. What's more, these objects are not alone. They're floating in pairs like cosmic dancers. How cool is that? This video explores the fantastic discovery of planet-like objects that don't orbit any stars, but are floating majestically in pairs. We'll dive into their unique characteristics, how they were detected, and how they could have formed. This breakthrough discovery is exciting and challenges our understanding of stars and planet formation, revealing new possibilities for the diversity and evolution of planetary systems. New web image reveals mysterious planet-like objects in the Orion Nebula. The James Webb Space Telescope has recently provided us with new and exciting images that display a remarkable pair of planet-like objects in the Orion Nebula. This discovery is unprecedented. The Orion Nebula is a magnificent cloud of gas and dust that illuminates the night sky. It can be easily identified as the sword in the Orion constellation. Situated at a distance of 1300 light-years from Earth, the nebula has always been a subject of interest for astronomers as it presents a plethora of celestial objects to study. These include planet-forming disks that surround young stars, as well as brown dwarfs, which are objects that have a mass between that of planets and stars. To capture the mosaics of the Orion Nebula, astronomers utilized Webb's near-infrared camera, known as NearCam. The camera captured images in short and long wavelengths of light, which have revealed unprecedented details and led to some unexpected discoveries. During their study of the Orion Nebula, two esteemed astronomers, Samuel G. Pearson and Mark J. Macorian, delved deeper into the trapezium cluster. This region, a mere one million years old, is a hub of activity for star formation, with countless new stars taking shape. However, the researchers also discovered brown dwarfs, objects too small to initiate nuclear fusion at their core and thus incapable of becoming full-fledged stars. These brown dwarfs have a mass less than 7% that of the Sun. As the scientists continued their search for low-mass objects, they stumbled upon a fascinating discovery. Pairs of planet-like objects with masses ranging from 0.6 to 13 times that of Jupiter. These objects challenge some of the most fundamental astronomical theories, adding to the intrigue and excitement of this ever-evolving field of study. The scientific community has named them Jumbos, Jupiter mass binary objects. Astronomers have discovered 40 pairs of jumbos and two triple systems that orbit each other on wide paths. Despite being in pairs, the objects are commonly separated by about 200 astronomical units, equivalent to 200 times the distance between Earth and the Sun. It takes these objects between 20,000 and 80,000 years to complete an orbit around each other. The object's temperatures range from 1,000 degrees Fahrenheit or 537 degrees Celsius to 2,300 degrees Fahrenheit or 1,260 degrees Celsius, and they are relatively young, only about 1 million years old. Compared to our solar system, which is 4.57 billion years old, these objects are still in their infancy. It's fascinating to note that the Sun has a lifespan of approximately 10 billion years, and scientists have determined that it's currently halfway through its existence. In comparison, the objects in Orion that have recently been discovered are a mere three-day-old babies. Despite their youth, these objects are incredibly luminous and warm. This is due to their energy, which makes them glow and become visible to us. Two research papers have been authored by Macorian and Pearson, detailing their discoveries in the Orion Nebula using the Webb Telescope. These studies have been submitted to academic journals for publication, and the preliminary findings are available on a preprint site called Archive. However, many questions regarding jumbos, such as how they came into existence, still need to be answered. What are jumbos, Jupiter mass binary objects? Did you know that stars are formed from massive clouds of gas and dust that collapse due to gravitational forces? This process gives birth to planets as disks of gas and dust swirl around the stars. However, there still needs to be a clear explanation for the formation of jumbos, massive objects in the Orion Nebula. As per Macorian, current theories fail to explain their existence. 
Some think that jumbos are like rogue planets, objects of planetary mass that travel freely through space without orbiting stars. But it's difficult to explain how pairs of them were ejected simultaneously while gravitationally connected, as many rogue planets start by orbiting stars before getting ejected. Scientists have been working on theories and models of star and planet formation for decades, but none of them have ever predicted that we would find pairs of super low-mass objects floating alone in space. And we're seeing lots of them, Pearson said. The main thing that we learn from this is that there is something fundamentally wrong with either our understanding of planet formation, star formation, or both. Astronomers have long been fascinated by the Orion Nebula, a popular observational target. As telescopes have grown more extensive and sophisticated, they have revealed a wealth of new objects within the nebula. Although these objects can be quite faint, they emit the most substantial infrared radiation, making this the optimal wavelength for detection. The JWST is the most powerful infrared telescope ever constructed, enabling astronomers to make observations that would have been inconceivable with any other telescope. In early 2024, the nebula observations are expected to shed further light on the atmospheric compositions of the jumbos, according to Pearson. Additionally, the researchers aim to obtain more detailed information about these objects, including accurate measurements of their masses. In the meantime, other studies focused on the diverse star-forming regions might uncover whether jumbos occur outside of the Orion Nebula. Wow, that's quite surprising. It raises questions like, where did that come from? We'll need many more observations and modeling to understand and explain this unexpected finding fully. Why are these jumbos paired together? Upon discovering two jumbos moving in pairs, James Webb's sighting raised many questions among researchers. The unexpectedness of such a discovery has stirred the curiosity of many, including Matthew Bate, a professor of theoretical astrophysics at the University of Exeter in England. He noted that although many stars, including our Sun, are born as pairs, binary objects of decreasing mass are becoming less common due to their weaker gravitational attraction, which makes them more easily torn apart. The existence of jumbos implies that we may be missing something crucial about how these low-mass objects form. To unravel the mystery, Dr. Pearson plans to use the Webb telescope to analyze the light from the objects revealing the composition of their gaseous atmospheres and potentially uncovering how they form. His preliminary findings suggest the presence of methane and water on these planets, but he is determined to gather even more information about these intriguing objects. The Role of the James Webb Telescope The James Webb Telescope has been essential in uncovering the universe's secrets. Its contribution to discovering Jupiter-sized objects floating in space is remarkable. With its state-of-the-art technology and powerful instruments, this innovative telescope has enabled astronomers to explore the cosmos like never before. The primary goal of the James Webb Telescope is to observe the universe in infrared light, offering valuable insights into the creation of stars and galaxies, as well as the existence of exoplanets. Thanks to its high-resolution imaging capabilities, detailed images of celestial bodies can be captured and faint signals that were once unobservable can now be detected. The discovery and characterization of Jupiter-sized objects in the universe has been made possible thanks to the invaluable contribution of the James Webb Telescope. By analyzing the infrared emissions of these celestial giants, scientists can understand their composition, temperature, and even their atmospheres. The availability of such critical information opens up new avenues for research, enabling scientists to gain deeper insights into the formation and evolution of these massive objects in the universe. The James Webb Telescope has played a pivotal role in expanding our knowledge of the cosmos and uncovering its most profound secrets. Through the tireless efforts of scientific instruments like this, we have been able to push the boundaries of human understanding and pave the way for even more astonishing discoveries in the future. With the help of this remarkable scientific innovation, we are poised to delve deeper into the mysteries of the universe and unravel its many enigmas. James Webb made a fantastic discovery of two planet-like objects drifting side by side in space. This is an incredible achievement in astronomy and will help scientists better understand how planets form and behave in space. 
It's incredible to think that so many secrets are still waiting to be uncovered in the vast universe. Thanks to the advanced technology and the hard work of these scientists, we can expect to make even more incredible discoveries in the future. So, let's keep exploring and uncovering the mysteries of the cosmos together. We hope you enjoyed this video. Please be sure to share your thoughts down below. And as always, don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more exciting space updates. See you next time.